All right, hey guys. So we're gonna be unboxing and ripping open this MSI. This is actually the GeForce GTX 1080, not the 1080 Ti, cause I couldn't afford that shit. That was two hundred fifty dollars extra. And for the fact of having eleven gigs of video card RAM as opposed to eight gigs, um, I couldn't justify that, unfortunately. So and even you know, 2080 is around the corner eventually. I have my replacement plans coming around so I have my cards well played I'm not too worried about it I don't really need um, all that extra stuff plus I built my computer about a year and a month ago and I'd say everything was top-notch except I had a compromise and I got the MSI 960 with four gigs of graphics card RAM and I had the hopes of getting the 980 eventually unfortunately that never happened so I was like well let me just get this before uh, you know things go downhill because eventually I want to get into you know playing VR and whatnot especially since Rock Band went VR and went that path so we got this thing opened thing as I like about MSI is that everything's pretty much clear cut um, I will I get say I guess I'd say clean cut um, the box is a lot bigger than I'm used to in, you know compared to the 960 but then again this actually does have a radiator it does have a fan attached to it it is a liquid cooled system it is closed circuit so you don't have to worry about actually you know doing any extra stuff when you do take it out of the box so we're gonna unveil the graphics card in just a second my pasty hands all lotioned up for you guys I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm actually doing a voiceover because yesterday when I recorded this video, I don't know what happened to the audio. I guess I forgot to turn on my mic or something, but Rode, you just failed me for a sec. So we're taking out all the literature because, uh, you know, generally the literature is like a quick startup guide, you know, a CD and something else. We'll go over that in a sec. These are the four screws for mounting your radiator. I mounted mine to the back. That's a CD. I don't know what's on there, so if you're one of those brave souls that actually does have an optical drive, please pop that in and let me know what's in there. It is, a, once again, a liquid-cooled um, graphics card, so, you know, kudos to that. There was a thank you card, and I believe there was a quick start guide that I just picked up after I threw it down. I generally don't read the quick start guide, but I'll generally tell you just make sure that you have an anti-static you know, wristband or anti-static mat on. If you don't have one, make sure you tie your hair up if you have long hair. And make sure if you don't have any of that, just make sure at least if you have a metal case, you know, a computer case, make sure you have one hand touching that so when you do seat your graphics card in there. I do recommend actually putting your graphics card on its side on the table so when you do see the graphics card in there the pen not pens but the pins actually don't get bent when you do seat it because the last thing you need is to have bent pins so let's move on and let's see what it looks like in my computer this is my computer don't worry about the friggin cable management and everything at some point I was just so excited and I just kind of gave up so we're just going to go ahead and move, remove the side paneling and call a day and just go inside and look at what's in there. Bam. All right. So you'll actually, if you look at, if you already know what you're looking for, that's why you're watching this video. There's the graphics card that's slightly out of the frame right now, out of the shot. But that's the radiator. That's the fan right there. It's a 120 millimeter. I actually... It's actually replacing um, a 140 that used to be there. So this is the MSI Seahawk X version. There is a Seahawk EKX, which is basically has a water block on the bottom. And that's for people who have a completely, like a complete water cooled system for their computer. I'm not talking about just the CPU liquid cool system, like the whole computer is water cooled, you know, with the tubes and shit. And this is actually the free game that I actually got. This is... Uh, brain fart. Sorry. This is for honor. One of my coworkers is going nuts with this game. So this is just showing you at what settings I have it on. Everything's at basically extreme and max, uh, extreme or high or maxed out. So basically, um, after the tutorial, 
you just get to go ahead and choose your different chapters and just go from there. The actual intro of this video where you go into this, she sounds a lot like Cortana from Halo, which is the coolest thing ever. I know that my monitor, I'll tell you guys, it's actually pretty sad, but it's a, you know, it's just a 1920 by 1080 monitor. And I know, I know, I've been thinking and I've been trying to actually get a much better monitor, but unfortunately it hasn't happened yet because the one that I do want to get is about eight to nine hundred dollars. It's from eight, it's a, it's a 4K monitor from LG. So when I actually do get around to actually committing to save up that kind of money for a monitor, then that will finally happen. But this is actually pretty cool. So I, I do believe you do, at the end of the day, you do get like a $30 rebate on the MSI card, whether it's a 1070 or a 1080. And also the fact whether it's a 1070 or a 1080, you also get to choose between the uh, Tom Clancy's uh, Wildlands game or this game, For Honor. My coworker is going nuts over this game, so whenever I get a chance, I'm gonna, you know, get around to playing it and everything, and possibly that's actually gonna be tonight after I get done with this. So thanks for watching, and you guys have a great night.